Telephones have been with us for quite a while now. In fact, we couldn't imagine life without them. But to use them, we have to be where they are. And that can be very restricting. Yes, yes, I understand. No, it's all right, but please trust me. It's very urgent. It gets back to me as soon as possible. Thank you. Now, come on, we deserve a break. Look, let's go to that nice pub on the river for lunch, huh? Nothing I'd like better. I'm waiting for a call from Newcastle, and then I've got to phone the contractors. Too bad. Still, with phone boxes on every street corner, well, some street corners, you can still be on the move and keep in touch. If you're out of luck the first time, you might be lucky second time round. Well, if not the second time, well, then you just have to be patient. And that's not easy if the call is urgent. And no matter how many public phone boxes there are, they're not much use if you're expecting a call rather than trying to make one. This is the answer. A mobile telephone. Have you any idea how long the waiting list is? No. It'll take you years to get to the top. You're joking. Oh, well, if it's the best there is. Well, it'll seem all the more worthwhile when it finally does turn up. Hmm? Yes, indeed. Anything worth having is worth waiting for, as long as it is worth having. Get me Roger Hawkins in Lombard Street. George, we're way out of range. It'll take at least 20 minutes before we hit the Greater London area. I haven't waited ages for that thing. What's another 20 minutes or so? Only the difference between winning and losing this contract. Four two two one. I'm sorry, we have no channels open in the Manchester area at present. You can try again later if you like. <laughs> but I'm not sure if you'll be in your area by then. Sorry, but there's no way I can check on that for you, is there? And I'm afraid the operator is right. You see, existing radio telephone systems operate by means of a number of isolated transceivers covering limited areas. They function over legally restricted numbers of channels. So, within an area, especially if it's large, it's not at all difficult for a logjam of calls to build up. Of course, you can put up more transceivers and create new areas if you have any spare channels available. But if an area is on the small side, a subscriber will often move out of range or be obliged to change his channel manually to be able to talk via the new transceiver. In the case of calls in the other direction, it's very hit and miss trying to call up somebody on the move if you don't know exactly which area he's in and which channel he's on. On top of which, there are several systems currently in use, all incompatible, which doesn't help mobility. But equally, occasionally everyone's bound to be in the right place at the right time and on the right channel. Fine. OK, Jean-Claude, if you meet me at Charles de Gaulle, we can work out the details on the way in. OK, Jean-Claude. See you then. Au revoir. Anything I should see right away? Well, you should see this, but you won't want to. Oh? The radio telephone bill. Well, this is astronomic. Our friend went for the best mobile telephone service available. He soon discovered that it had many shortcomings. He's quite entitled to feel there ought to be something better. Well, now there is. There is? It's coming from Rachel Vodafone. Who? Rachel Vodafone. They're a member of the highly successful Rachel Electronics Group, a British company recognized worldwide as leaders of electronic and communications technology. And they've got 29 Queen's Awards to prove it. Awards for products like ClearScan Radar, Data Communication Systems, VHF Manpack Radios, and many other high-technology products. Not surprising, then, that they were awarded the one and only private sector license to operate a cellular radio telephone service in the UK. Cellular radio telephone service? Yes. It's quite simple, really. 
Instead of one high-power base station with a limited number of channels serving a large area, the whole of the country is divided into a honeycomb of small cell areas, hence the name cellular. Each cell has a low power transmitter as a base station, and because they use the cellular concept, base stations which are not immediately adjacent to each other can use identical channels without fear of interference. Each cell or base station is linked to a regional telephone exchange, the heart of which is a powerful computer. It controls many base stations and in turn is connected to other similar regional exchanges to form a national network of all the cells thus providing a truly nationwide radio telephone service. What's more, the Rakel Vodafone cellular radio telephone service can be switched into the existing British Telecom network. So you can contact not only other Rakel Vodafone users, but people who only have a traditional phone too. You can even call overseas, all whilst being truly mobile. It's not difficult to use. It's fully automatic. Our super brain computers see to that. All you have to do is punch in the right number to start with. OK, OK, I'm not very technically minded. I'm interested in what Rakel Vodafone does for me, not how it does it. As well as virtually guaranteeing a channel is always available, Rakel Vodafone really comes into its own in the case of an ongoing conversation, going on, that is, when one or both of the parties are on the move from one cell area to another. Let's take an example. You're in your car talking to your chairman. He's in his car, but it's nearing the boundary of his cell. Imperceptibly to either of you, his signal strength is diminishing. But the computer brain in the regional exchange can perceive the loss of strength because it's constantly tracking all mobile users. It automatically switches your chairman to the next cell without any interruption. This all happens in a fraction of a second and neither of you will even be aware that this handoff has happened. All you will be aware of is constant, clear communication whilst being truly mobile. And remember, you can receive calls anytime, anywhere, as well as originating them, through the same tracking system. And that you can switch into the standard British Telecom network, so you can talk to the office too, not just to other mobile users. It all happens in a split second, and unlike the annoying effects encountered by users of conventional simplex mobile radio, cellular radio gives a genuine two-way telephone quality speech link. The Vodafone system will come into working operation early in 1985. From an initial London nucleus, it will honeycomb out right across the country, even to the point of spreading out over coastal waters. The size of cells will be sensibly varied, more compact cells in built-up city areas with high user demand, fewer, wider spreading cells in thinly populated country areas. It will speedily stretch nationwide. And the potential time and labour-saving applications are not hard to envisage. You know, I'm not at all relaxed about these agency proposals. We better let Anton know right away. He's out of the office this afternoon and he won't have the artwork in front of him. Yep. Hi, Anton. It's Mr. Maxwell of Trevelyan Trust for you. Okay, you better put him through. Okay. You're through. How long's it been like this? I only spotted it yesterday. What about the rest of the herd? Well, I haven't checked them all yet. Yeah, well, I think we're going to do that soon. Um, Hang on. There's nothing more worth saving than time. <coughs> and for anybody on the move or in some remote corner of a far flung field, the potential value of always being on the end of a phone can be close to priceless. Parker? Oh, sorry to disturb you, but you did say if oh, anything okay. was urgent. Do I gather her condition has deteriorated? Afraid so. I think it's rabies. Right. You get her isolated. I'll call the Ministry from here and get out an alert. <laughs> 